Gledali ste dokumentarni film novinarke N1 Tine Jelin Dizdar. A večeras je s nama na Skype vezi iz Vancouvera kanadski režiser Oskarovac John Zaritski, koji je autor filma Romeo i Julija u Sarajevu snimljenog 1994. godine u produkciji američkog PBS Frontline-a. Zaritski je za ovaj film dobio nagradu Dupont Columbia, a bio je nominiran i za Emmy nagradu. Good evening, Mr. Zaritski, and thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. You have won more than uh, 40 awards worldwide for your documentary films, but you have said on uh, different occasions that the Romeo and Juliet in Sarajevo was very special in your career. What does this film mean to you today when we commemorate the 22nd anniversary of tragic death of Boško and Admira? Well, it indeed was a life-changing exper experience for me. I had never been in a war zone prior to that in my career. I had been in some dangerous situations and had been in some dangerous places, but not until I got to Sarajevo and experienced the war uh, had I ever seen such violence, such bloodshed, such such horrors as I, I experienced in Sarajevo. And so that changed my life forever. And those memories and that experience has stayed with me to this very day. Yeah. Uh, you had won the Oscar uh, years before the story of Sarajevo's Romeo and Juliet. What was your motivation to come to the city under the siege, in the middle of the war, to do the movie about uh, this tragic, tragic love? Well, I was commissioned by the PBS Frontline. They wanted uh, a filmmaker to do a film about Sarajevo and to do uh, a story that would explain the war to American viewers who many of them while they were seeing the, the bloodshed daily on the newscast didn't really understand who was shooting at who and what the war was all about and so uh, it was made very clear to me at the outset that I could turn down this commission and no and nobody would hold it against me. But I decided that this was a unique and rare opportunity to perhaps influence history in some small way by reaching an American audience and getting the American government finally to pay attention and to do something about Sarajevo. And I don't want to exaggerate my importance or the importance of the film but a year after the film was released you know came the Dayton Accords yeah, that sure. finally brought peace to the region. Yeah and this year we actually celebrate the uh, 20th uh, anniversary of Dayton Peace Agreement. Well it was a major major event for Bosnia and for the people in the area and I, I, I'm proud that not just me but my crew and especially my very courageous and brave uh, field producer made a contribution to ending this. Mr. Zorinsky, what has been experienced that the most affected you during uh, filming in Sarajevo? Well, there were many, and I could spend a lot of time describing them. I think for me, it, it was like, you know, at the time, Holiday Inn had a slogan, no surprises. And yet when I arrived at the Holiday Inn in Sarajevo, I still remember no heat, no water, <laughs> no electricity it was like <laughs> the biggest shock of my life and i thought this is the worst camping trip i'll ever be on mm -hmm. a romantic and tragic a brave insightful piece of filmmaking these are some of the comments on your film published in the most popular newspapers in the world 
Has your movie helped the world to know better, to understand the depth of the tragedy of war in Bosnia, the Sarajevo siege, and the suffering of the, of the people? Well, I think, I, I hope so. I, I believe that to be the case. I think it's all in large measure to how audiences and critics around the world could identify with a young couple crazy, madly in love with each other. And coming, you know, he was a Serb, she was a Muslim. And it was a story, a universal story that everybody could understand. And as a result, through Admira and Bosco, I think millions of people uh, began to understand the war in a way and to experience and feel sympathy for people in Sarajevo as a result of their deaths. What is interesting to, to, to say that the, uh, an international news report on Bosco and Admira was written by Kurt Schork, uh, a Reuters correspondent from, uh, from Sarajevo. Kurt Schork died in an ambush in Sierra Leone in the same month, May, but seven years later. Half of Schork's ashes were buried next to his mother's grave in Washington, but the other half lie in a grave at the feet of Bosco and Admira at Sarajevo Cemetery Love. Kurt also uh, has a street in the city from which he reported. What symbolism, Mr. Zaritsky? I think uh, enough credit can't be paid to Kurt Short. It was he who found the story, risked his life, wrote the story that captured headlines on front pages around the world including in Canada, where I lived at the time. And when I saw Kurt's story and read his story, I was so moved by it that I, it was like, Eureka, I have found the story. And I owed it all to Kurt, who I got to know while I was in Sarajevo and was a brave correspondent wonderful human being and a great gentleman. Mm -hmm. During this interview, you mentioned uh, your influence, actually influence of this movie, the American government. Is there any hope that films and other works of art could help that tragedies such as uh, Mira and Bosco never repeat, or the world just opens up uh, new, new cycles of, of, of evil, uh, Mr. Zaritsky? I don't think any one film or will ever stop the continuing evil. I'm afraid I'm uh, a glass half empty kind of guy. Uh, I believe in the power of the media to change uh, situations and to improve people's lives and to end wars sometimes, but uh, it's, they're temporary victories and evil continues, I'm afraid to say. Yeah, unfortunately. And for the end, uh, the audience in the region, throughout the region, uh, is going to, uh, to watch your movie tonight. I mean, uh, this is actually a, 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 a premiere uh, uh, broadcasting at N1 television. Do you have a, a message to, to our audience? Well, I guess I, my, my message, my personal message to the audience tonight would be, as we did in our credits for Romeo and Juliet, which is simply to say, Latha Sarajevo, a big Latha to Sarajevo, because you provided, you, the people of Sarajevo have remained my friends Zoran Stevanovic, who was the field producer on the film, had remained a close friend of mine. And I cannot thank Sarajevo and the people of Sarajevo, the families of Agmira and Bosco, enough. Thank you, Mr. Zoritsky, indeed.